Hey, what's up, internet land? Uh, Bob the Barber here in Austin, Texas, Beard Brand Headquarters, holding it down. And uh, we've got our buddy uh, Floyd here thinking about uh, taking all this off. So let's get to it. So I mentioned Jason Statham and uh, his look, he's got the, a very similar hair pattern. Uh, the, he's going a little thin on top, but he's still got a nice, nice thickness to the sides. So uh, shaping it all down, leaving a little bit of stubble, uh, and then maybe like a five o'clock shadow. It looks aggressive, it looks intentional. Um, but I think we're gonna go with old school straight razor. So we'll do both in one, in one run. So like I said, uh, let's just dig in. I'm gonna knock down the top. Um, we'll get it looking like Jason Statham. He's one of my favorite characters from the, the classic Snatch. If you guys haven't seen it, you're missing out. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, Guy Ritchie is gonna be coming out with another movie a lot like those pretty soon. Oh, actually he just did, didn't he? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't Brad Pitt in it? Say, I need to catch up. See, I'm over here talking smack about not catching movies and I haven't seen them. So you said you've been here for uh, 25, 25 years at least? Years, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, where were you coming from? I came from Midland, Texas. Midland, and, uh, Texas, yes. And I was actually born in Pecos, Texas. Even smaller yeah. and dustier. So yeah, that's about as Texan as you get. That's the full-blown tumbleweeds and mesquite bushes. I am familiar. I worked in the oil field for oil fields for a long time and spent many a days hanging out in, in that dusty old town Pecos. Shout out. Yeah. Actually, the, uh, my granddad was a barber there. He had a barber shop. Lloyd's Barbershop. That's uh, that's awesome. Um, what were uh, did you ever get to have your haircut by, by Grandpa? Uh, yeah, I mean that's my first haircut picture, nice. you know. So, so since we are gonna go ahead and knock it all down, let's uh, let's get to it. All right. I'm taking a uh, my trimmer, get a little more aggressive, and you'll see what I mean by taking down the uh, that stubble, that that little shadow. It makes the haircut a little. A little different and anyway, we're talking just fraction fractions of an inch at this point yeah so just first round of hot lather just applying it pretty liberally getting that getting that those, those hairs that are left nice and soft and the scalp nice and slick Let that hang out for a minute. New blade on my my feather razor. It's a uh, got some weight to it. It's Japanese Japanese steel. Cut through pretty much anything. <laughs> it's a lightsaber without being a lightsaber. Load you up with a little bit more lather. And I can start feeling that that hair be a little less resistant. So what I like to do is I this is a thinner area, so I don't have to put as much effort into getting the good first pass of my shaver, my razor. Um, that also allows me to get a better grip on the skin as I get into the the thicker areas. It's a good sound too. <laughs> you want to hear any break sounds? Huh? The uh, yeah, shaving for most barbers is pretty relaxing. We got to focus on what we're doing, but it's a uh, it's, it's a nice quiet moment in the day. We have so many conversations throughout. It's a nice little reprieve. So what we have to be careful with on some of these, uh, on this top portion, these, these baby hairs are so fine that they'll stick to the scalp 
with all the uh, the lather and the shave gels. I like to use the light from outside to catch them. I'd rather give it a couple more passes and snag them before you guys walk out and then see all this peach fuzz on top of your head. So yeah, you kind of I've kind of had fun with it and every now and then I get crazy and try to style it some way or other and <laughs> Just the way you shave it, or you uh, say what do you the, mean? like in the way that you trim it and, and let it grow yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I can like kind of like you know trim it down shorter and maybe try to do it. There was a I forget what it was. There was like a beard thing down on Sixth Street one time. I, I think it was part of the Pecan Street Festival, but they would do like beard design or something. <laughs> so yeah, they got like a really really uh, out there type cut. <clears throat> I was a contest, so I was like, yeah, knock yourself out. And uh, everybody's laughing about it, but <clears throat> I mean, you don't really have to worry because like I said, it grows so, so quick. I went to a car show last week. It was uh, 80s, 90s and, you know, themed. And they encourage you to dress up in the, in the appropriate attire from that era and kind of looked back at Saved by the Bell it's like, what the hell? This is, I, I felt so uncomfortable just, and I used to wear those clothes. Yeah. <laughs> but just uh, wearing these oversized shirts and jeans and. Yeah, it's so hilarious. I remember they, the guys actually had half shirts for a while. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you definitely did go to school uh, in the 80s, man. And then they even had like mesh half shirts. It's just like, what? There's a movie with Goldie Hawn. Or she's like the football coach at the high school. And uh, I always remember that. Like, the guys not only wore that to practice, but they just wore those shirts yeah, like all the time. They'd wear them out. It's just like, yeah, it's funny, man. There'll be somebody somewhere out there that's going to bring those back. And people might question them for a few days. And they're like, hey, that's actually a nice look. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's funny. Well, I, I grew up in West Texas. And, uh, so we'd go out just like hunting, snake hunting and stuff like that. In mesh shirts? No, not mesh shirts. <laughs> but actually, my, my cousin had bell bottoms, and he would do it in bell bottoms. And out there you have these, these sand burrs. And uh, I remember at the end of the day, man, he had those bell bottoms were so full of burrs. Oh, man. Just like take them off and leave them out there. Burn like a, them. Yeah, because, you, you know, you'd go to pull those things out and it goes right into your finger. Like, no matter how careful you are, it's like, I don't know what he did with them. But yeah, that's like a memory from childhood, man. Just seeing him with like 200 burrs in those bell-bottom pants. And, it's like, and he claimed it was safe because we didn't rattlesnakes. On the and bell he, bottom might keep those snakes yeah, away. He, he claimed it might, you know, like save him or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's unbelievable. So I'm in Sweetwater, Texas at one, and um, they skin them and they hang the uh, the bodies up, and the bodies, all the nerves are still still, still like, like twitching and everything. Yeah. yeah. And what's even more weird is so they'll cut the heads off and they'll put them in a bucket, and so I got video of this bucket full of snake heads. And they're still alive for a while, like the nerves and everything. So they're biting each other's, like right in the head and just like striking. It looks like something out of a nightmare, you know. Like, <laughs> I'd it, say so. It Jesus. was like crazy. And, I'm, and you know, there's still probably enough venom. Oh, absolutely, they yeah. Had the full effect probably. If, so that's why they always say, like, if you run over a snake, don't, don't try to pull it out of your whatever, you know, don't mess with it. So, so we've gone over your head a few times with a few different implements, the clippers, and the trimmers, and the razor. Um, throw some uh, good old classic aftershave on there, get it nice and clean. And then what we're gonna do is uh, grab some of my favorite at the moment, some utility balm. This is a good moisturizer. You want to, um, to go Soothe the skin, keep it nice and moisturized, smell really good. Yeah, I've been hearing the uh, the beard oils are like really 
scented well and stuff? Yeah, the, uh, the, the, all the things that have evolved in that world, people are, uh, companies are really putting their best efforts into making them uh, well-rounded and smell great uh, on different, different skin, um, you know, infuse minerals and all the good vitamins into your, into your beard so it gives it a good chance to grow out nice and healthy. Um, yeah, Beard Brand, they just relaunched their stuff recently and, uh, and made sure that the ingredients that they were putting into these, these oils are top notch. So, um, yeah, it, it, it does help. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a friend of mine was using it and uh, he said his daughter just kept being like, what is that? You smell so good. What is that? like, <laughs> that's, uh, that's always a good sign when uh, yeah. you, you get those fans. So first things first, before I even get into your beard, I have to touch these eyebrows real quick. So when you do your own beard, you mix it up every once in a while, you yeah. uh, long, short. Yeah, uh, it, it's all over. Yeah, it grows so quick. I mean, the funny thing, I, uh, a friend of mine was just gonna do like a, uh, like make a video and- uh, And see how fast it grew? No, he was, he was like an aspiring filmmaker. So he's, okay. he's like wanting a homeless guy. And so he's like, yeah, just like let it go crazy. Like, let it go. And so I let it grow out, and it was like literally people are like thinking I'm homeless. <laughs> and um, he just kept putting it off. He never, like I had it for like two years. He never, he's always like, yeah, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. And he never did the film. Oh, dang. So, that, that actually, that's when the, uh, the movie, the, sun, the uh, show, The Sunshot. And so that's when I had just this crazy, like, I mean, it was insanely large beard. You know, I mean, it fit the time. The, piece so they uh, cast me as a buffalo hunter that's awesome and uh yeah it was man it was a beautiful shot out there and it totally looked apart too you know yeah that's uh that's the thing about those beers is that it takes you back to this, this these other these other eras um, uh, so i went ahead and just blended out your your sideburns real quick because your beard grows so fast mine as well instead of hitting you with a really sharp line i'm just going to give it a nice natural finish up top so as it grows out it looks like you're you know once again it's more about intentionality as opposed to uh you having to keep up with it so often um and with a nice slick head i feel like the the contrast of a of a nice uh, natural beard is is more appropriate pretty funny i think tried like some different you know just crazy styles because like i said it grows back so i can mess with it a lot i did like detach sideburns one time it's pretty funny <laughs> the uh and that's the beauty of it it's like if, if you if you've got it flaunt it yeah. and uh yeah it's so ironic i can grow such a great beard but it just can't grow anything on top it has it has something to do with uh our testosterone that that's that definitely is a portion of it. it kind of gets just redistributed, and uh, yeah, guys who are typically bald can, can almost always, not always, but almost always, <laughs> go really damn good beards. Let's tidy up this mustache real quick. What is a what is your normal um, kind of beard 
care routine? Do you you put any love into it? Other than just like being able to grow it out fast and, and trim it and Yeah, I mean, there for a while I was trying to like really it's actually, you know, it's a lot of work. People think, Oh, I'm just gonna grow a beard and it's easier honestly. Yeah, just to show some respect, off, yeah. Right? Show some respect. It is yeah. tough. Yeah, you gotta put it yeah, in the Yeah, the styling put and uh, typically I'll start trying to style it and then one side I'll get off and I'll go to the other side and then eventually I just like, all right, time to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, but you do you, you throw any products in it too? As I, when you're growing some of those longer yeah, beard, you I mean, know, I've buffalo never really gone like beards. I just t typically just use you know the same shampoo and and just trims and stuff like that. But I haven't really gone. I need to try it. So I think it'd be good. Being that it's most of the hair on your on your face, yeah, you know, on, on your body right now, thing. yeah, uh, it's easy to to kind of start focusing on that. It's um, and it goes a long way. It just makes when you do start growing it out, it'll grow out really nicely. It'll grow out really soft. You can have some more fun with the the styling of it since you sound like you can are capable of doing that. And yeah, a little goes a long way. Um, that utility balm that I used on your head is one of those things where you can kind of use it on the head, just push, you know, push it through the beer too, and uh, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Um, good product that satisfies so many different areas. Yeah, one of my favorite airport stories. We had a we had a plane coming in really late at night, and uh, it looked like a hubcap like came off the side of the wheel, <clears throat> and it was just like rolling. It looked like, and it turns out there's an armadillo running right beside the plane as it came as it taxied in. Oh wow! And so one of my coworkers runs up and catches it, and so he's driving one of the belt loaders with one hand and waving this armadillo by the tail with his other hand. It was like, <laughs> great moment. <laughs> what are the chances, man? That yeah. is such a, such a Texas thing. So like I said, just kind of fading out this, this cheek line as opposed to putting in a hard edge. Bringing it down so it still makes it look clean, but a little more natural. Get some more of that utility balm. Because your beard's a little shorter, you know, you have a little more skin exposed. This is good for the skin. It's uh, I and mean, if, if you decided to start growing out your beard a little bit longer, um, getting showing a little love right now from the get is uh, gonna make a huge difference as it grows out. Be a little softer, much more manageable, a lot healthier. Dust you off and we'll get that, uh, that last spin and move on from there. Did you get out of here on the way today? Go catch some more snakes. Uh, <laughs>